Hello folks, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast and I join you tonight after a sensational evening at Ibrox Stadium as Rangers came from behind to beat Braga, came from 2-0 down and looking that we were dead and buried in the Europa League, never mind the game itself, but somehow, from somewhere, a Rangers side that had not been competitive at all with Braga somehow dug out a, an amazing victory. Uh, and the last half an hour at Ibrox tonight will live with me forever. Braga were a very good team and they would have been a challenge at the best of times. And as we all know, that it, it hasn't been the best of times for this Rangers team lately. And our form was not great. And then the first half in particular, we gave the ball away constantly. We couldn't get combinations of passes going. They were very slick on the ball, very composed, didn't let the, the park, which uh, rather infamously isn't in the best state at the moment, they didn't let that bother them. And, I mean, they made a sitter earlier, three sitters in the one attack when a cross came in, a uh, free header in the box, good save by him, McGregor, and then two open goals they proceeded to miss. And I thought, well, we might be in a bit of danger here. And Braga just kept making chances. Uh, Rangers, architect of our own downfall so often lately, and that was the case this time. Glenn Kamara, who had a shocker. Um, you can you know, have a, a bad game from time to time, but this was uh, a really, really poor one from him. He gave the ball away. Uh, great strike from the Braga player uh, from outside the box to beat Alan McGregor, 1-0 down. And Rangers were just rotten. We couldn't get anything going at all, to be honest. Uh, Stephen Davis was having a really poor game tonight. And when your two key midfielders aren't being able to cope, Braga were cutting us open time after time. And Rangers had no answer. That said, we still managed to create a couple of decent chances for Alfredo Morelos. Forced two saves at the goalkeeper. Maybe a bit disappointed, especially with the first one was a good opportunity. But then into the second half, and I actually thought for the first 15 minutes of the second half was maybe the worst we've played even in this terrible run. And the players were just looking at each other, what the hell is wrong with us? They couldn't do anything right. If they went to pass to a teammate, they'd screw it up. If they went to header it, it would skate off their head and go in the wrong direction. Kamara was was hauled after heading the ball right to the onrushing Braga forward who really, really should have scored. He was so shocked, I think, to get the opportunity they overran the ball into Alan McGregor's hands. Um, but Braga did take the lead and again, poor defender from Rangers. It's just a throw in, Braga, um, quick one to Nico Katic who otherwise was, was one of our better players, sells himself, shot from outside the box, 2-0. And at that point, I, at that point I actually looked as though, never mind... Um, get back into it we do well to avoid a drubbing and then football it's why it's the best game in the world Rangers shit out of form can't string three passes together uh, a crowd of, of just you know had a couple of horrible months and then it just became the centre of the universe because uh, step forward you know come with the hour literally come with the man uh, and we had two men who, who came forward at this point. The first one was uh, Yanis Hadji. Imagine being the best player in the Hadji family. Um, I kid, but he was he was brilliant and he got us back into it, uh, taking up, finding space. He did it against Hibs as well at the back post after a, a set piece. The ball dropped to him and he stepped inside and smashed it low in off the the, the near post for 2-1. And a wee bit of hope back into it. And that's really all it felt like. Now, one of the things I've moaned about on here is a lack of a plan B. And again, I think that was evident in the first half that we were just trying the same things. Ryan Kent was taking off again. He's still not playing very well. Alfie's not up to what he uh, he will be, although he's still a bit of a handful. But the, the manager did make changes in that second half. Uh, he really went for it. And one of those changes, uh, well, Camberry came on, Greg Stewart came on. But one of the changes was Joe Arribo at left back. Yes, you are correct. And it turns out that Joe Aribo is the greatest left back in the history of the world. He was fantastic. He was absolutely brilliant. Defensively, he was rock solid. He kept getting forward. Uh, he was uh, you know, stringing passes together. And then, then he just scored one of the best goals I've ever seen in my life. It was sensational. He wins the ball out on the left wing. He cuts inside and plays a 1-2. And then he just starts slaloming past defenders and 
c- close control. It was like Ricky Villa, that famous goal at Wembley. I counted five that he went past and then he just belted it past the goalkeeper and Ibrox went mental. By then, the place was absolutely rocking and... I would have been perfectly happy with the two each at that point, but we weren't done. We got a free kick a long way out, and after a big, long, dramatic pause, including the ball moving due to the wind, Yanis Hadji uh, cracks one in. It takes a deflection, and it seemed to take an age to loop up over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net for 3 2. Well, if Ibrox had went Tonto before, it went Tonto squared at this point, and Rangers managed to hold out to, to get there. I'm not really doing it justice because Braga had four or five absolute sitters in the second half as well they'll be wondering how the hell that they haven't put this complete tie to bed never mind uh, managed to lose the game tonight but we go into the second leg with hope and it didn't look like that after an hour and look you know they're a really good side and they'll be fancying their chances but we've given ourselves an opportunity for me though the key thing about this tonight is Rangers were not playing well and they dug this out through spirit and, and showing heart and determination and a lot of things that, that they've been criticised for not showing lately um, they, they were you're right come on this is maybe not our night but we're going to dig in here and we're going to get our pride back and they more than did that they they made this tie live again Hadji is a special talent he really is um, whatever you know these club wants for him would be valid in my mind but the fact that Rangers have got a deal for 5 million euros lined up get it paid tomorrow um, do a whip round at the next home game because the boy was was again he's a difference maker and when it matters he steps forward and his dad was there tonight so I mean how great is that and you know Joe Aribo that's wow that's a goal we're going to be talking about for a long long time Alfie's out next week um, silly booking and again, you know, the side of Alfredo that, that just constantly makes you go, Arr. um, and he'll be out. But that means Florian Camberry will need to play. And that might not be a bad thing. He's looked pretty good in his two appearances since he since he came back. And we'll have Ryan Jack back. That'll be huge. He was suspended tonight. And by God, did we miss him. But I'm hoping that this is the spark that lights our season. Because if you can't take something out of that, 2-0 down, looking dead and buried, and come back and get the win and give yourselves a chance. If that can't spark you against a team of Braga's quality, we won't run into many better teams in this season. They are really good. Then I don't know what will. It was a wonderful night. It just reminds you why, um, as I say, football is the greatest game in the world because it can take you to the, the, the depths after 60 minutes and then to the absolute heights, the, the mountaintop after 90 uh, what was looking like a really, really disastrous night turns into a wonderful one. Turns out to be one we'll be referring back to. And you're just going, mind of that game against Braga at Ibrox. And, you know, I just want to thank the team for that. As I say, they've given us a few low points. Last Wednesday, I sat on here after the Kilmarnock game and, you know, felt like it was the the, the kind of biggest boot in the sacks one can imagine. Whereas tonight, I, I won't sleep. High as a kite, I just want to watch Aribo's goal over and over and over again. And that's what my team can do for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. Because that was Rangers out there tonight, wasn't it? That was our boys. And I loved it. If you want to hear more, when I've calmed down, we'll give up some proper analysis. And if you want to hear it, then please come to our Patreon site. That's Heart and Hand uh, on Patreon. Just search for that. But you can also type in patreon.com forward slash Heart and Hand. And you'll get loads of great written reviews and other content on our website, heartandhand.co.uk. All free. Please go to that. And uh, I think you'll find a lot to enjoy there. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful evening. I'll be back at the weekend uh, after we take on St John's. Then until then, I'll try and chisel this grin off my face, but I doubt that that will have any effect. And I'll speak to you again at the weekend. Thank you very much. Bye bye.